Hi everyone, thanks for practicing today. So today's flow is gonna be a nice, just whole body flow, okay? Just a typical class that um, you just might go to. So kind of bring it back to the heart of, of why we love yoga, so. All right, let's go, let's start moving and feel better. All right, everyone, doing okay? Okay, let us um, meet up in seated, okay? Tukasana so is a seated pose. Very, very common yoga pose. So get comfy. Um, so adjust your, adjust your bum, okay? Your back, make sure it's long. The back of your neck is long, your shoulders are down, okay? Let's just take a couple breaths and let, let things settle for a moment, knowing that we can come to our mat, the space, create maybe for a few moments, a little bit of calm. Let your breath be natural being forced. Imagine your breath as you're breathing in, flowing all the way to your belly. And push your belly in and let the breath flow out. Notice the sound of your breath. Let's take a nice deep breath in together and we're gonna hold the exhale. Just exhale it out through your mouth. When I'm ready, one, two, three, inhale. Let it out. If your eyes are closed, you can softly blink them open. Back to the awareness of your mat, of the room you're in. All right, let's go ahead and reach our arms up over our heads, pressing our palms together. Bring it to our heart center. We can set our intention for the practice today, whatever that looks like for you. It's just simply coming to your mat and moving, that's enough. You don't have to complicate things. If you're looking for more, just close your eyes and whatever, whatever comes to you, that can be your intention. Whatever it is, we're gonna inhale up, gather it up, gather it all up and just bring it to our heart. Let our heart deal with it. Take your thumbs and touch your heart center. Just let it go there for a moment. Let's change the cross of our feet. So whatever foot was in the front, let's bring it to the back. Just switch, okay. One more deep breath in. Bring your palms together and then down to your heart center. This time we're going to take our right hand, bring it behind us. Left hand goes to knee. And keeping your chin parallel to the floor, just a nice gentle, gentle twist, not, nothing forced here. Look over your right shoulder. Shoulders are down. When you're ready, take your right hand, bring it up, straight up, and then land it on your left knee. So now you've crossed your arms. 
And then we're just going to lean forward a little bit, but pull your low belly in as you lean forward and keep your back straight, okay? And then we're going to just kind of bring our arms out to the side. Nice cactus arms here. Reach up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let's do the other side. Left hand goes behind us. Right arm goes to left knee. Chin is parallel to floor as we look over our left shoulder. It's warming up with a little twist here. All right, when you're ready, inhale your left arm up, land it on your right. Again, pull your low belly in first, and then back is straightening forward a little bit, and then unwind into cactus arms. Inhale up. Reach, 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 exhale into cactus arms. Inhale up. Exhale down. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and meet up in table. There's a little bug crawling on my, my little orange tree's been, I just don't want it to land on me. <laughs> so I'll watch it here for a second. All right, in tabletop, wrists are under shoulders, knees under hips. We're gonna pull our little belly in before we do this and just kind of slowly round your back. And then keeping your low belly in, we're just gonna lower our ribs, the lower part of our ribs down to the mat and keep your low belly in. If you don't keep your low belly in, your low back is going to take everything and it's not going to be happy, okay? Really important here, we're not dropping everything down in, in when we do the cat-cow, okay? We're still engaging our core, okay? Low belly in and lower your rib points down, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and extend our right foot back. Press into our heel. Bring that back in. Left foot goes back. Press into our heel. Bring that back. Take your left foot and just kind of take it to a 45. Drag your left hand in maybe like two or three inches. Extend your right leg out. Point your toes straight. Really press into that foot. Press into the outer pinky toe side just to lift up that inner thigh. And then reach your right arm up. Reach back, inhale, exhale. Through that space, inhale up, back, and exhale down. One more time, inhale up, and exhale down. All right, let's let's bring ourselves up. Okay, gently, slowly here, and let's walk our hands out. We're going to be at an angle from the leg that's bent, so the left leg. Just walk your hands out at it like a forty-five angle. Stretch into that and then just kind of press, press into your hips a little bit. Head can rest in the mat. You can come up and down if you want. Let's walk it back in. And then let's come to our knees, okay? You can tuck your toes and then sit back. You wanna do a little 10 toe stretch here. Take a moment, inhale, exhale. All right, let's take it back to tabletop. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? So kickstand that foot about a 45. Extend your left leg now. Press into the pinky toe side of your left foot. Drag your right hand in just a couple inches just for a little, a little better positioning, okay? And this is gonna take some weight here. And we're gonna reach up with our left. Inhale up. Exhale through. Inhale up. Exhale through. Inhale up. 
reach back. All right, let's bring ourselves up. And we're going to do the same thing here. Walk yourself forward. A little bit at an angle. Press, gentle press into your hands here. Rest your forehead if you want. When you're ready, walk yourself back up. Okay, and then come up. All right, let's do our 10 toe stretch. So, tuck your toes, sit back. I'll turn around this way, okay. A little 10 toe. And let your breath settle. All right, let's meet up in down dog, okay? So I like to come to tabletop. I like to tuck my toes like we were doing, bring bone back and lift up. It's your first down dog of the day. You might want to take it for a walk. Walk it out here, press your heel towards the mat. It does not have to touch, just towards. You can alternate, right? You. Palms are spread wide, your fingers are wide. Bring your thumb in a little closer to your pointer. Lift your hips to the crease where the ceiling meets the wall. Mm, nice. Press your head a little closer to your hands. Make some space between your ears and your shoulders. Enjoy down dog. Um, All right, come onto your tippy toes. Bend your knees, let's just hover. Build a little bit of heat. Hover about an inch above the mat. And then let's roll back to our down dog. And then pressing that out. All right. And when we're ready, let's walk our hands back to our feet this time. Take a nice, really nice bend in your knees, like you're gonna sit down on a chair. Pull your low belly in. Imagine you're pulling your hip bones towards each other, towards the midline. Hands go top of thighs. We can rise up to a nice chair pose, or we can take our hands to our heart center. Wherever you want to be, sink into that, build a little bit more heat. And an inhale, rise up. Exhale it out. Okay, right foot, step it, step it, big step forward, okay? We're gonna come into warrior one. So make sure your right foot's pointing straight, your right knee is bent over your ankle or a little bit behind like that, okay? All right, and it's tracking straight, it's not left or right, okay? And then this back foot, what are we gonna do with it? <laughs> Let's land it. It's pointing up towards the corner of your mat, okay? So it's gonna be the left corner of your mat. Okay, really press into that foot. If you need to widen it like that, you know, make it wider, you can, for more stability. Gives your hips a little space too. Pull your low belly in, okay? Our hips are kind of at an angle, that's great. Don't need to worry about that. From our heart center, we can kind of turn more aligned with our front leg, okay? But don't crank into your hips. Just, you have more, more, bit more mobility in your upper rib cage, so you can turn that way, okay? Shoulders down, chins parallel to the floor. Rise up, warrior one. Drop your shoulders down a little bit. Let's land our hands on each side of our right foot. And then with your left foot, just rotate on the ball of your foot so now it's straight. And then heel toe, your right foot to the edge of the mat so hands come inside. Adjust your back foot so now you're in like a high lizard, okay? 
Imagine there's a string on this back thigh that's pulling you up a little bit, okay? You could also, if, if you don't like this, you can also lower your knee down and come into a low lizard too. You can recall. Push the mat away, pull your low belly in. Pick up your left hand, press it in the center of the mat, extend your right hand forward and then reach up. Really lift up that back leg. All right, now take your hands back to center. Lower, if you, have, if you aren't lowered, lower down your left knee. Untuck your toes so the, your shoelace part's pressing into the mat. And then we're just going to roll back. Keeping our foot planted, we're going to roll back for and plant it for just a minute just to stretch out that front part. And then when we're ready, we're going to roll onto our heel, come to a little wider uh, half monkey here. Fingertips are each side of your knee. Your back is straight. All right. Okay. Another, another couple breaths. Okay. Let's walk it forward a little bit. Bring your hands back inside. Okay. We're gonna tuck our left foot, lift up our left leg. Right leg's gonna extend back, but keep it in the air if you want for a little three-legged plank. A little bit of strength here too. Okay, good? Ready? Okay, let's go down dog. Same thing, we're gonna do that little flow on the other side, okay? Let's enjoy our down dog for a minute though. <laughs> your hands back to your feet bend it bend it a bunch okay like you're sitting down express your chair however you want to do that build some heat here notice your breath in exhale out When you're ready, rise up. Okay. Okay. This time, left foot's gonna big step forward. Okay. Come to warrior one feet. Okay. Check your feet first. We always have to make sure our foundation's strong before we can rise up or build build upon our foundation. Just like everything, right? Okay. Make sure you're good. It's all good. <laughs> Okay, nothing's hurting, nothing's uncomfortable. I think I said this before, I, I used to hate warrior one because I was like this and it was killing my low back, but then I took a class from a genius who said, step it wide. There you go, you have a genius. <laughs> so, and then I love it, so. All right, rise up. Really the same thing, like we have a string on the back of our right thigh, we're, not, we're pulling it back, okay? Pull our little belly in, always for support. Sink into that front leg. Okay, drop your shoulders down, look up. Not a crazy, uh, back bend, there's just a little tiny one, that's why we have to engage our low belly. All right, ready? Land your hands. Okay, let's think about this. Let's roll on the ball of our right foot. So now it's pointing straight. Bring our hands inside our, our left foot and then heel toe your left foot to the outer edge of the mat. Adjust your back foot. You might need to bring it in more towards the center depending where 
your stance was in warrior one, okay? So let's come to our high lizard, other side, push the floor away, lift up, high or low, your call. Right hand goes to center, left hand goes forward, and then up. Okay, land your left hand. Set your arms to, um, like in tabletop, so wrists under shoulders. And if your legs down, lift it up. We're gonna do a hard three-legged plank, other side, ready? Make sure you're strong, left leg goes back, three-legged plank. And let's roll back to the dog. Press it out here. Okay, this time we're going to walk our feet to our hands, bend our knees, forward fold, drag our fingertips above our knees a little bit, flat back, and then rise up, hands to heart center, step wide, we're going to go into goddess feet here, so to set up for goddess, your feet are out of 45, okay, you can bend your knees, reach your arms up, sink down, okay, can kind of dance your goddess a little bit if you want. Kind of come on heel, back and forth here. Whatever feels good to you. You can just kind of sink lower, take it lower. I always love to come up on the tippy toe on one side. Lower your heel, tippy toe other side. Lower your heel, or if you want tippy toe both sides. Your call, your practice. Breathe it out. You're almost done here, guys. Doing great. Showed up, you're here, right? That's a, it's 99% of it, just showing up. All right, a couple more breaths. Burning, a little burn going. Lower down, and then let's start it out, star pose. Jazz hands if you want. You know what jazz hands are out there. <laughs> okay, Whew. deep breath out. Let's, uh, let's windmill ourselves, rotate on our, our heel and the balls of our feet, windmill out ourselves down. Let's do one last down dog here, good measure. For the love of the game. <laughs> All right, let's press forward, drop our knees, tabletop, and let's go on our back. We're gonna have to do a tiny bit of core, guys. It's whole body, so I can't forget the core. <laughs> I'm not a super fan of crunches, so we're not doing crunches, but let's bring our knees to a 90, okay? Pull our low belly in, and let's just start lowering. You can either alternate like um, right foot, left foot tap, right foot, left foot tap, or if you want to take them both together, lift up and lower, you can do that too. You can bring them in towards you and then go down, whatever you want to do for your core. I just don't like crunches. I just, I always get that strain in my neck. I just don't like it. <laughs> so. All right, if you want, you can add like your arms in, alternate as you lower. Um, let's say you're gonna lower your left leg, then lower your right arm back behind you, okay? That's always, that's gonna get you a little bit more core engagement. There's options here. You can follow your breath.
few more here, guys. I'm almost done. Doing great. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, hug it in. Knees, chest. Roll it out here a little bit. Okay, take your um, right leg, cross it over so your ankle's above your left knee. You can pull that in a little bit, like figure four. So grab through the space you made, grab the back of your left thigh, pull it in a little. And when you're ready, you can just roll towards your left gently, slowly, kindly, land your right foot, okay? And then you can extend your arms and then look over towards your right. When you're ready, bring yourself back to center. Uncross, switch legs, okay? Express your, enjoy your figure four here for a moment. And if you want, you can drop your left foot over towards the right. Send your arms and then look towards your left. back in, back to center. Do whatever you want to do before we set up for Shavasana. That's like a happy baby. Do that. You can extend one leg, extend the other. Whatever your body is wanting you to do. So we're going to set up for Shavasana next. All right. Let it extend out. Extend your legs out. Ah, oh, get comfy. Push your head in the mat and then pick up your shoulder blades, kind of lower them down, and then rest your shoulders. Let your feet flop. Let everything just be heavy, okay? Relax your toes, your ankles, your knees, your hips, your fingers, your wrist, your elbows, your shoulders, your jaw. Nose, your eyes, your forehead, your ears.
you're ready, I'm out of spots and not go ahead. Just point your toes and flex. Stretch your hands out. Make a gentle fist. Lift and lower your shoulders. Lift and lower your knees. Deep breath in. Exhale it out. Go ahead and bend your knees. Bring your knees to your chest. Give yourself one last hug. Hold on the side here. Slowly press yourself up. We'll come to our nice, easy seated pose. Go ahead, bring your arms up over your head. Hands to heart center. Thumb to your heart, or thumbs to your heart. Thank you for showing up today. Showing up is the, probably the hardest part of most things, so. May you be okay. May you be healthy. May you be free from suffering. May you continue to be awesome. May you progress and stay. Thanks everyone for practicing. See you next week. Bye.